If you would throw me anywhere in the world with just a laptop, without any contacts or my brands, nobody knows me, I still believe that I would be able to build a six-figure web design business within a year. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how by sharing the three steps I would take to do that. Step one, mastering the tools. In order to deliver professional web design, you need to master your craft and learn the tools that will enable you to deliver high-end websites. Now, perhaps you've played around with tools like Wix or Squarespace before to build websites, but if you're looking to build a professional web design business that is generating high income, you'll need to build complex, custom, high-end websites that clients are willing to pay five figures for. So you'll need to master the tools of the pros. Now, fortunately, when it comes to web design, there are only two tools that are required. One tool to design websites and one tool to develop them. Now, the most popular and powerful design tool today is Figma. So that's a no brainer. You have to know Figma. Some people think that you can skip the design phase and just straight up jump into developing websites, but that's a huge mistake. A key part of creating amazing designs is experimenting with a lot of different design solutions and ideas. Now, Figma was built for this creative ideation phase. Now, the great thing about Figma is that it's free and easy to get started with, so there's absolutely nothing that's going to stop you. And by the way, if you're looking to get started with Figma for free, check out our crash course on our channel. Now, the next tool you'll need to master is your development tool. My personal favorite tool is Webflow, which allows you for total customization of designs and interactions and enables you to build amazing websites without code. And since my goal is to build high-end websites that I can charge high prices for, I need a powerful professional tool that will enable me to go way beyond working with templates. Now, because Webflow is super powerful and robust tool, it does have more of a learning curve to it. But if you're aiming for big project, it will definitely pay itself back. That being said, there's an alternative to Webflow, which I think is worth sharing, and that is Framer. Framer is kind of the cool kid on the block in the world of web design, but it has already proven itself to be able to create some beautiful custom websites. And people who are coming from a design background rather than a development background find it more intuitive. So my suggestion is that you give them both a try and you see which one you like better. Um, and by the way, we have courses for both of them on our channel. Now, the last thing I wanna say about tools, and this is not mandatory, but it can be very helpful in uh, moving you faster is Reloom. Reloom started out as a library of components for Webflow, but today it has an AI builder which enables you to get to full wireframes of websites in mere seconds uh, and then enables you to export them either to Figma or to Webflow. And it's a completely game changer. So you should definitely check out Reloom as well. Step two, your portfolio. Now that you can build professional websites, it's time to show potential clients what you can do for them. Now, some people think that this is a catch-22. How can I have a portfolio if I don't have clients? But the truth is, you don't need any clients to build a portfolio. All you need is to just create some fake projects for the type of clients you would like to work with and present them well on your website. And four to five projects should be enough. Now, you also don't need to have like super complex case studies. You just want to show great looking images or better yet videos if you want to show some of the animations interaction. And actually, the best thing is to just link to the actual website so people can check it out on their own. Now, a few notes about your portfolio. Your goal here is to get people to like you and trust you since both of these things are required for people to hire you. Now, you get people to like you by showing your personality. Now, this can be by showing who you are, but also how you write and what kind of imagery you're using on your website. It's a little bit of a cliche, but you know, don't be afraid to be you because everybody else is already taken. So don't try to just copy other people's portfolio, right? Add your personal touch. Next is getting them to trust you. And this should be done in two ways. Number one is making sure that your website is well designed, right? If you don't pay attention to the details in your website and the polish of it, you know, what would potential clients think that you will do with their projects, right? And the second thing is you need to use as much proof as possible that you can be trusted, right? So this can be either testimonials, but if you haven't worked with clients before, then it can be testimonials from maybe colleagues that you worked with in the past or just people that you know in different contexts and they can vouch for you. And if you've ever worked in, in big and famous companies, putting their logos will help to build trust. And you can mention your past experience and studies, even if it's unrelated to web design. 
that can also help you build trust. Step three, deliver value to clients. In this last step, I'm going to deliver value to my ideal client first for free, just to prove that I can really wow them. And then I'm going to use this goodwill that was created with them to get referrals to actual paying clients. Okay, so let's talk about how to do this. First, what clients should I approach? Now, since I want to make a lot of money, I'm going to target clients who have a lot of money, right? So you might be asking yourself who has lots of money, and more people than you think is the answer in the US alone, there's over 750,000 businesses that are making over a million dollar a year. And there are 22 million people in the US that are millionaires. Okay. So I want to give you a heads up people with money usually have high standards and there's more competition because everybody wants to work with them. So you will need to make sure that you can actually provide them with value. Okay, so that leads the question to what is valuable to them. And that depends. Businesses usually value making more money. So that's pretty straightforward to understand. But most humans have other things that they value, like they want to impress other people, or they want to look better than their competition. So I would try to really understand what are their motivation of my clients and see if I can help them achieve that with a better designed website. So as I've mentioned, at first, I would do that for free, right? I would design a website and I would offer it to them as a gift for free. Now, if the client refuses to take free work, then either you didn't understand their motivation, or your skills are just not good enough to help them solve their problem. And that probably means that you need to go back to step one and two. But if they are extremely happy, that means that you're on the right track. Now people have the tendency to want to reciprocate. So if you did something for them, they would want to do something for you, right? Maybe it's sharing your work or your portfolio or give you a shout out. Now I would keep on doing this and also share how happy my past clients are until people would line up to work with me at the rates that I want to charge. If that sounded too easy, it's not. Providing amazing value to clients is always very difficult. However, this plan is simple. And the faster that you get started at learning how to provide value as a designer and work to increase the value that you're able to provide, I promise you that you're heading for success. Make sure to check our other videos on this channel to learn more on how to provide value as a web designer. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.